Okay, YouTubers, this is Old John. Gonna make a video on adding an inline filter to my generator. It's a Briggs and Stratton, and I picked up a about a five dollar fuel filter. Tired of cleaning the carburetor so much, and it's you know quite a lengthy time in between operating your generator. So odds are you're gonna tend to accumulate junk from the fuel. I don't know why these don't come with a filter, but I'm going to put this in. I got it, like I say, got a Walmart. It says it's for uh, most engines, so um, <clears throat> I think it'll fit. I'm going to basically cut the fuel line here and mount this in. And these are not the greatest clamps, but this is all I have at the moment to put around the pipe where I cut out the section or the uh, hose. Um, so I'll be using Exacto blade screwdriver, drain the gasoline into the um, to a pan protect the environment of course um, make sure you're off turn your uh, fuel line off turn it horizontal like that um, and that way you only have gasoline loss here so the next step is to um, disconnect the hose drain it and then cut it okay the gas line comes down and connects into the carburetor here, held on by this one hose clamp. So just simply grab that with pliers or water pump pliers in this case. Slide this back, and I'm doing this with one hand. So the screwdriver maybe try to pry it up. Need to use two hands probably. Here it comes. Getting some leakage. Not a whole lot though. Now we're ready to cut it. Okay, believe it or not, this doesn't have a <coughs> flow arrow on it. But looking at the back of the package, it seems to show this larger diameter part is um, be the direction of the flow towards it. So, I'll be installing it like this. This is made in the USA, so that's kind of nice. And, okay, let's. I got the hose loose, now let's cut it, and we only need to cut it just a little bit more than the thickness, a little more than the thickness of the filter body itself. Okay, I put a little bit of oil on the ends of the uh, filter, so they'll slide into the hose a little better. I've cut the hose, put the clamp on the top, I'm kind of putting in it in a vertical position so that way you know it'll have a little more head on it to uh, force the flow down into the pipe. Now I didn't um, cut out a gap here I'm just going to try mounting it and just you know varying the pipe see how that works otherwise I'll cut out a piece. Okay there it is on I've got to tighten up these screws screwdriver got it on down here let's squeeze that with the pliers slide it back down and then we'll be set we'll try it out 
Look, we got it on. We got this slid down. These tightened up. So, we're ready to turn the gas on and see if it works. Turn the gas on here. Don't see any leaking at this point. Let's try starting it up. Put it on choke. Turn this button on. And give her a crank. There you go, YouTubers. Works like a champ. Apparently I got the filter in the right direction because the flow is going through it. It says on the package that this will last about two years. And like I say, it's a Briggs & Stratton filter. Got it from Walmart for about $5. So, pretty good deal. So, I'm ready for the next storm. Had a power outage about a week ago and we're expecting storms tonight so may get to use this again if you recall from my previous videos which I'll leave, leave links to I put my generator right here in this space and I have a cable that I plug it in to here and as you can see my power is going in to my garage here so on the other side of the wall here there's a my electric panel for the whole house and I've installed a 30 amp breaker in the top right hand side and also a lockout sliding lockout plate in the top of the panel so when you turn the power off you slide the mechanism up to block it so you can then turn on the 30 amp breaker so both can't be on at the same time you can't electrocute any linemen who are outside repairing the power and then when you get ready to turn off your 30 amp breaker which pretty much powers the whole house except this air conditioner I have here I will run the, the uh, furnace um, and then you uh, simply disconnect that allows the plate to slide down and you can turn your power back on to the outside and you're good to go so again looks like this has worked and I'm ready for the next storm I have my generator not grounded to the frame so it's it'll be grounded at the power panel so if I wanted to use this for some other devices I'd want to reconnect the jumper this is my uh, generator Briggs & Stratton 5550 watts running 8550 starting and it'll pretty much run my whole house so looks like it's gonna work so give me a like if you like this or leave any comments old John over and out